All right, everybody, we got a new project. Felicia caused us a new project for a really good reason, right, honey? Yes. What'd you do, Felicia? Bought boat seats. See? Boat seats. This boat right here, she bought us some boat seats. Awesome boat seats. She is horrible about keeping presents secret until the actual event. These seats are for Father's Day. I have been wanting seats for this boat for how long? Since I got it. So what, three years now? I haven't put any seats in it. <clears throat> I really couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. She and I discussed it and I think we came up with a good idea. Most people would take one of these get ups right here. Take it apart, you can see this piece would go into the deck of the boat. This piece would mount to the bottom of the seat and then it would slide down in there. Obviously it wouldn't be that far off of the deck, but you have to drill that great big hole right there. And then you gotta put all these pretty decent size bolts in it. Now they have their place. My personal opinion is their place is something like this right here to where you've got the plate on the bottom side. You can access it. You can bolt and nut this plate to the deck. Whereas we're wanting to put seats here for the driver and the passenger. I don't want to drill a great big hole in this. You can kind of see where my butt wears the paint out. And over there, you kind of have the same thing underneath the square. So we've came up with a different idea. You want to hand me that aluminum piece there, honey? So this aluminum piece, pe bleh, bleh, can't talk. This aluminum piece here, you can kind of see that shape right there. This is an uh, extruded aluminum that gets pop riveted in place. You want to grab that plate, honey? Let's show them how this thing is supposed to work. Now this plate is not on the seat. I'll show you how it's mounted to the seat here in just a second. But the side that's facing you there, honey, goes into this J channel on the front side of this piece of aluminum. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. There you go, you see that J? Now if you can come up here so our people can see it all the way to the end here, I wanna hold it right on the end. And you, you stand that up on end. So, wrote, yep, just like that, slide the J. Do I have to come all the way out? You don't have to, you can actually hold it back there. Now lay it down. This the other way and that folks if you can see that there locks it in place what that allows you to do is slide the seat so now honey lift it just a little bit and pull it to you you can slide that seat wherever you want to put it on this track and then lay it back down and it'll lock it back into place again i think that's going to work out pretty great and if you want to bring it up here to the end let's give them a view right on the end how those j's it's a female and a male. Lift it a little bit higher. There you go. Now slide it to me. And it's hard for me to hold this piece while you're sliding it around, but there you go. All the, right there. Now lay it down. Flat on this backside like you're locking it. See how it locks in there? I know I'm kind of creating a shadow, but it's close enough to the end and they can see it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount. I'm going to hold the track. Thank you. And then it pops right out, obviously, so that you can pop your seat off, take it, throw it in the garage on a shelf somewhere so that your seat doesn't dry rotten stuff out in the sun. So these potentially will be used in the future for up there on the front deck. But we're going to throw these back in the shelf for now. And then I'll show you the bottom of the seat. We have a track, a track. We have a plate mounted to the bottom of the seat. And the reason why it's sitting a little crooked is because it's on an actual swivel in there. So what that will allow this to do, and it's really hard to do when it's not mounted, is it'll allow this seat to swivel. So you can set the seat perfectly straight or you can rotate it 90, talk, lean, converse, have some fun, whatever it takes. But we're gonna mount this track <clears throat> to the side of the actual seat right here. So if we lay that on there, you want the J to stick out over the edge. And then we're gonna bump it back here to this door. 
and we'll make sure that the door still opens and that doesn't interfere with it. And on this front side up here, we're gonna trim it to match the front side of the actual seat pod. And what that'll allow us to do is if Felicia's driving a boat, I'm sure the seat needs to be a little closer, huh? Yeah. If Matt's driving a boat, <clears throat> the seat probably gonna be a little bit further away. So that'll allow us to adjust that seat a full, I haven't measured it yet, but I'm guessing somewhere around 24 inches. And that'll, you know, Shaquille O'Neal could drive the boat if he wanted to, I guess. He could slide the seat all the way to the back side. Anyway, we're gonna lay these out. We gotta mark that end over there, <clears throat> excuse me, with a square. We're gonna trim that off, and we're gonna get these babies mounted and see how this works. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right, everybody, we got the first track stuck on the side here. We took our square apart because we really just need a straight edge. We lined it up right here on the edge of the seat and we gave ourselves a straight line to cut. And what we'll do is we'll transfer that line to the front side all the way down, which in turn will allow us to have this track mounted flush on this front side and to ensure there's no sharp edges on this after we cut it, I'll lay that back a little bit with the bench grinder and kind of wire wheel it and smooth it off real good. But after we get it marked here, we need to test and make sure that that little door back there open. You want to try it, honey? Catching a little. Catching a little. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's bump it forward just a touch. Try it now. Free and clear? Yep. Perfect. Alarm mark didn't move much, and I'm sure I can't cut that perfectly straight because we're just going to use a four inch grinder. And if we have to fine tune it a little bit with the grinder after we uh, get it cut the first time, that's fine. But another thing I want to explain to everybody, something I learned. This track is made for a 90 degree or something close to it. So as you can see on this boat here, that's bent at a 90. So this track is made for this type of seat pod. Whereas some of the other John boats have a sloping radius. There is a specific track for the radius. And the reason for that is this piece here and this piece here, if you set it on a radius, there's nowhere for you to put your pop rivets because that radius touches here and here. So these pieces are longer and some of them are extruded with a radius in it to get close to match the bench that's in your boat. So if you're gonna order these pieces, pay very close attention that you're not buying a square track if you have a radiused seat pod or bench running all the way across your boat. Some of the older style John boats have that. Whereas we've got the square, so we ordered a square track. You ready to do some cutting? Let's do it. It's a little hot in here, huh? A little bit. Whew, we need some air moving or something. I think we need a fan. <laughs> all right, let's cut this and we'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, we got our first cut done. And we're just a hair long. You kind of see it overhanging the edge right there. And what we don't want is we don't want this sharp edge to end up cutting someone or this sharp edge here. Um, that inside corner was a little bit interesting to get to, but we got it because this angle comes across and then this is actually a straight cut. <clears throat> so we had to kind of come at it a couple of different ways there, but we're gonna put it on the bench grinder. You can see how well it fits there. Fits really well. And we're good on this front side, but the top side we're just a scooch long. So we're gonna we're gonna take our pink away with our bench grinder and we're gonna lay that back so it's not so sharp. All right, yes, my workbench is cluttered up. I got stuff everywhere, but we're gonna clean this up. Since it's aluminum, we're just gonna use the wire wheel. We're not gonna use the grinder wheel, except to take the tip off and make it not as pointy.
pretty close there. Can y'all see that? I've got the top bottom side and the top side radius back with the wire wheel, so it's nowhere near sharp. I don't want to touch it too much. But I do have one little spot that kind of boogered up with the grinder whenever I cut it. But I don't think that's going to matter because it's going to be behind the actual edge of the seat that it's mounting to. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit more because there's a little bit of a sharp edge on the inside, and then we will dry fit it again. Oh, platform fell over. That actually might be a good thing. we're done it actually does look pretty good had a little rough spot there but now it all came out really nice and smooth no sharp edges i don't think that'll catch anything do you think that'll catch anything no, it doesn't look like it let's drive it come over here and let's see how it fits get a light make sure they can see really well all right i am just a slight bit behind flush will that door open up back there show them why you open it if you don't mind just a little bit of resistance? Yeah, but I don't think it's from hitting that. No, nope, okay. it's not hitting it. So. All right, you want to come up here and show them how that's fitting? Kind of get right off that front side. You can see it's just a little bit set back, kind of the back side of the weld. I think that's good. Do you think that's good? It's good to me. All right, let's do the next step of the process. I do not personally think that I need that big of a rivet. It comes with self-tapping screws, I believe it is. Might just be wood screws, I don't know. It comes with these daggone things. I don't like them. I don't like them. Do you like them? <laughs> don't know. Don't care. don't care. So, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use quarter inch by eighth inch diameter rivets. We've got our drill press here with an eighth inch drill bit. We are gonna drill ourselves our own holes in this thing because I don't like the way they wanted to mount it. So we're gonna change it. We're gonna drill a series of holes down through here. They've got one, two, three, four, five holes and we probably cut one of them off. But um, we're gonna put eight pop rivets in each side and that's going to be what holds it to the actual seat pod there on both the left and the right. You ready to drill some holes? Yeah, because we can't just use the ones that's already there. No, because I'll show you why. See, see, she was starting to just be smart. Here, try the pop rivet that we have. See how it fits in that why hole. Why don't we use what came with it? Because these are really big holes. But they're already there. And if the aluminum wallers out because of these i have to go with a bigger bolt whereas if i use these it's a much smaller hole and a much smaller bigger hole if these waller out does that make sense so i'm not putting great so big gonna, holes in the boat wall our way back to the big one it'll be that boat and these pop rivets in that piece will outlast that boat in our existence <laughs> i'm pretty confident in that Ready to drill some holes? Drill some holes. All right, everybody. Felicia talked me into six rivets. Seven, eight. Let's go four. <laughs> Let's go four. Um, she's actually, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Six. It's pretty good because this is 30 inches. So I was a little off. I said 24. It's 30. Well, six goes into 35 times. So. We're gonna go with six. So what we did was we marked every five inches, five, 10, 15, 20, so on, two sides. This one is in a different location than that one because you have to be careful where you drill these holes here due to the fact that 
Well, this side looks like you have plenty of room, right? You grab your pop rivet gun. Oh, yeah, I can go wherever I want. Well, when you actually go to the side that's going to be the rivet side, you got to be a specific distance off of that, that ledge. So we had to move it. We centered it up in these holes, which is fine. Now we're going to drill it. All right, everybody, we got our holes drilled. Don't ask why there's two lines here and only one per side here. Somebody marked it wrong. Hi, <laughs> Look at that face. Hi, anyway, YouTube. Raylan says hello. Um, we ended up, like I explained a minute ago, we had to move it out so that we could get our pop rivet gun in there on this side. Uh, we got all of our holes drilled except for this one side here, but I wanted to explain with the way I'm drilling it We're ending up with some burrs on the side that the rivet goes on So what we'll do is we'll just run this down the wire wheel smooth them right up pretty quick and then we will Take on after drilling the holes in the boat and putting some pop, pop rivets in I'm gonna drill this last side and we'll start the actual install All right, everybody We've got them ground down smooth Top and bottom. Now it's time to actually install them. And you saw us earlier dry fit it. The eighth inch holes are too small for the Sharpie to get through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Felicia hold it. And I'm gonna drill a hole in the top side back there and the front side here, pop rivet them in place. And then I'm gonna do the bottom side. So that is gonna be the process. We got our pop rivets, we got a drill, you ready? Let's do this. Pre-check the lid again just to be sure. Good to go. Off the front side properly. Drill a hole. Put our pop rivet in. I didn't pull it all the way out yet. There we go. That one's good and tight. Go to the front side, drill our hole. Pop rivet in. What do you think? Just two pop rivets hold it pretty darn tight. We're putting a whole lot more in it. We are going to finish the drilling process. That sucker is held on there. I can't wiggle it at all. We're going to drill the rest of the holes. Drill the rest of these holes, finish the install on this side, and then we'll jump over to the other side. All right, so as always, things are going well. Y'all see what happened there? No, channel locks. So we broke the bit off in there. So we gotta get that bit out. So we're gonna remove it, a pair of channel locks, twist it back out of there, and then I gotta hope I have another bit. All right, so there it is. We got it out. Do we have another drill bit? Did you buy two or did you buy one? Five? Five? Where are they? You didn't buy any, did you? No, I should though, because you're rough on stuff and you usually break stuff. So. <laughs> That's what happens when you do stuff. All right, we got it out of there. The hole isn't finished drilled yet, but we got to go find a bit. Look at there. We are back in business. But I only have two more. In my 24 holes left. No, 22. No faith. No faith whatsoever. Broke it on the third one. Hey. Just saying. If we go on that uh, average, we don't have enough drill bits. I just like drilling holes. We well, gotta have a drill bit to do that. 
Hmm, I have two. Let's get back to going. You ready? Hey, Felicia. Yeah. I think I know why it broke the drill bit. Why? I just tried to cram it in the hole. Go too fast. Just cram it in there. Can't do that. Can't do that, can we? Like that. You can't finish the job like that. Hmm. Can't finish the job when you cram it in the hole, huh? Yep. All right. Well, we got all the pop rivets in there. This baby is on there. Now we're going to jump to the other side. Do the same thing all over again. All right, beautiful wife of mine. Guess what time it is? Don't you look behind yourself. Guess what time it is? It time to see if it works. We went ahead and said to heck with it. We're just going to install both sides before we even try the seat. Oh, go big that. or go home. All right. You remember how to do it? No. I mean, yeah. Lay the but... seat all the way up. Put the bottom channel in this channel and lay the seat down. All the way forward. The, the, the plate, bleh, 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 bleh. Still can't talk, honey. The plate is square with the front of the seat there. So stand the seat all the way up. You're cooking with peanut oil now. That's just a kill switch. It's not an important item. Oh my goodness. Spin it. What? Again, that was just a kill switch. Look at that huh you're smiling you don't even know what it's like to have a seat in a boat i don't because i always get my butt bone all bruised up you get your butt bone all bruised up boy that's really really solid dude just a little bit of wiggle and that's just a, the looseness in the bracket there you can see it there kind of lifting up off the bottom all right my butt's got tested out honey you want to video the test you want to video the test before we go seat number two all right, you ready? You want to turn it around where it's actually facing me? <laughs> ready? Think it's gonna work? Well, I hope. All you have to do is sit in it. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that. It's made for you to lean back like that. Yep. So you're not gonna break anything. And then all you do is tip the seat, slide it up if you want to adjust it closer or further away. Look at that. So. Can you t uh, twirl it where you're facing me? Because that's how I usually sit when I'm driving. You mean like this? Yeah. That's how you sit when you're driving? Not when I'm driving, when I'm riding. <laughs> Sorry. You, where's the camera facing? You, I don't know. <laughs> Push the screen. Yeah, it was still on you. So this, this is what you're talking about? Does it turn this way? Yeah. Yep, it turns this way. Now, obviously, we run out of room with travel because we end up because of this 45 degree angle here, but that's pretty good distance. Really, yeah. it's whatever you think. This is your Father's Day present. I can drive in. St oh, that's too far. Can't even reach steering wheel. Let's see. Where would I like it? I think I would like it. Oh, yeah. Maybe just a scooch closer, honestly. Now that I have a seat that I can lean back on, now, I'm not used to that. test where I would be, fall off the front of it. Test where you would be? I don't think it'll go up that far. Because you're going to have to have the seat, like, off the... <laughs> Let's see. I think it'll go a little bit further, but it ain't going to go much further. Right there. That's as far as you get. Oh, gosh, I can't hardly get in there. Oh, yeah, that's close enough for you. My goodness gracious. Definitely close enough for you. All right, so driver's side's good to go. We like it, I like it, which is really what matters. I have to get used to how to adjust those. It's so funny. All right, passenger side. I'll put this one on. You wanna show them from that view there? Hook it in, flop it down, move the drill, which normally wouldn't be there. Swivel it where you want it. Now, I put it in Oops. the passenger 
most of the time. Has to test it out. Come on. Get on up in here, honey. See what you think of your new seat. Pretty comfortable, aren't they? As long as you don't flip me into the river. Flip you into the river. Now you act like I drive crazy. You act like I drive crazy, Felicia. You do. I do? Mm -hmm. I drive crazy? I feel like I could... One wrong move and I could fall. One wrong move. That had to be a pretty really, severe move. I really tall. Maybe I should have mounted mine to the floor. Well, you know. I'll be popping it off and sitting on the floor. We can always work on that. I have been wanting, right back here where this prop sits, one of these days we're going to make a video of uh, putting in some dry storage here that doesn't go all the way to the top. It comes up about three quarters of the way so I can still have that access lid and that lock mechanism. So if that's the case, we'll get us one more track, one more plate, one more swivel, and we'll mount you down there lower to the floor. You already ain't very tall, but you won't be shorter in the boat, Taller huh? than you right now. You're looking up to me. Oh, yeah. Come step closer about two more steps. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you just come a little farther and stand up? All right, everybody. I believe that's a wrap. Everything mounted up nicely. Well, we've been working on this for about an hour, honey. Yeah. Doesn't take long. You need just a few tools. Pop rivet gun. Pop rivets that are the proper size. You shouldn't have needed a pair of channel locks, but Felicia broke the drill bit. Trying to cram it in there. And you need a drill. Um, an eighth inch bit, because we used, like I said earlier, eighth inch pop rivets. I like the way it works out. We've got plenty of travel. If we had a smaller seat, we'd be able to adjust it back even further. But Felicia was nice enough to buy the big, cushy, comfortable camouflage on top of that. Nice boat seats. These are Weiss seats. W-I-S-E. No, I'm not paid to say that. Those are just the seats that she bought me. So anyway, as always, I don't know if you guys can see me or not. As always, like comment subscribe you all had asked for more boat mods so you got more boat mods love in the comments keep them coming